Moodle Cloud, Moodle Cloud is moodlecloud.com is a, is a website like i'll just open it for you as well by i'll share my screen now moodle cloud is also like genomeo the moodle cloud has updated its user terms now what user terms are earlier moodle cloud allowed us to have our Moodle based sites hosted on Moodle cloud for any time of you say period but now they have updated their terms and uh, now the terms are that 45 days are there with you now when I say 45 days you you know what limitation is there after 45 days you have to pay this it means they are not free anymore they used to be free but the freedom was that you can have a maximum of 50 users only five zero users earlier we used to have in this free trial that we used to have unlimited time period nothing to be like uh, to to stop you you can keep on making your site and then keep it but after every 14 days you have to log in once so that you don't you you just don't plant it and then and waste their you say server space but now the people have modified it and what the modification is the the modification uh, dear friends is that you can make 200 users you can attach 200 students to it maximum file storage is 400 mb which was earlier very less you could have earlier like uh, the site that i have made that uh, that is still in work 50 user limitation plus 200 mb i guess or it was 100 mb now they have made it 400 mb 200 users but it is only for 45 days after that you have to pay 80 dollars that australian use aud and then they give you all these features so that is why we have stopped recommending making a moodle site on moodle cloud but if you have got a site which was made earlier then uh, there is there is no issue like this is the site that i have and i'm uh, logging in into this site i have i have recently completed an online course on employability enhancement with my students it means whosoever joined it there were different people there were 50 the limit was 50 so i could only enroll 50 people now the major difference that we all need to remember is the same way like we are we are habitual of a, to a new terminology even the children have got a new word like corona in their vocabulary now we know there is something happening around the world or in india lockdown 1.0 lockdown 2.0 lockdown 3.0 lockdown 4.0 so these are the versions which happen these are the different you say new 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 versions we call them that, that's what the right word i can think of now moodle has reached it it started from one maybe it started now 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 moodle has reached at 3.8.2 so the latest that is there on moodle is 3.8.2 and moodle cloud uses the latest version of moodle software all the softwares are updated so the latest update of moodle is 3.8.2 which is used on moodlecloud.com now what 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 about genomeo then genomeo uses 3.5 it means it's an older one and uh, when we contacted genomeo recently when we had this query and we wanted to know when the people are upgrading because there are new features in 3.8 or every every new update comes with new features but Genomeo said that it takes a lot of work to shift from one you say version to another one on our servers so when major updates come only then we upgrade now what do what does that mean like Moodle is 3.8.2 the 3.9 version which will have advanced features uh, for online teaching and so many other things will be coming and everything will be free of cost not a single penny to be bought by us but uh, Genomeo says we'll be shifting to 3.9 when 3.9 will come and 3.9 is coming this June and next year the people are going to come with 4.0 so new advancements are coming that you can find out on YouTube and on Google also we can search for it that what are the things about Moodle I'm trying to save the time so 3.5 version is on Genomeo which is a older one 3.8.2 is on Moodle cloud but because Moodle cloud gives you only like going by the same conditions the people have displayed it gives you 45 days only and then 200 users and 400 mb on on genomeo if you say 
G N O M I O. If I show you this thing, let me let me bring the features of Genomio. Genomio says this is what we give you: one thousand active users and ten GB of disk space. Now, they they give only advertisements, and this these are something like collaborations, and uh, you say they they are trying to support the people who are into education. So these are the things which are. Uh, offered by them google adsense content policies are being are being there and then what do they say that they say that we are free at present and you cannot sell our hosting see suppose uh, we all are going to get to know what genomio is doesn't mean that i can start charging money from people that i'm going to make your moodle site on genomio they people are offering it free of cost so we are going to use it for or free of cost and now this is one thing they, they have said very politely and in a, in a very cute manner they say that we are not google so please do not abuse our service means do not uh, host your courses or store your data if you don't don't need it so th these are the terms and conditions now you have created a site name site name has to be small letters i mean lower case letters or numbers suppose i say ccw english 2020 genomio.com i type an email address and this i assume that this and i click on the terms and conditions also i assume that this address is a unique one no one else has made it by adding the abbreviation of your college or institution or university certain times it makes it a unique one the same way you search for a gmail id and then you create a site and and then uh, you people make a site you get a message and the message i have shown you the message is like this one in which you get the url you get the admin and you get the password also these things they come to you you log in and then you change the password now what i have done is till now i went here i went to profile i went to edit profile and then i changed those things here i have changed I, i we are not going to change admin the username but we can change the names of virtual teaching suppose i make it 2020 and now the name will get changed but like this virtual teaching which is here will become virtual teaching 2020 email id is there i have give a small description i have pasted placed an image let me change the image now like you can change it as many times as you want i'm going to choose another image and then find out suppose i'll go with my 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 real image then here and then here and then here uh when you people will spend time when you people will be like uh, spending much time you working on moodle the same way it has happened to me the same way it has happened to the people who have attended earlier workshops uh, at cit or elsewhere as well your speed to navigate from one segment to another segment will increase so don't worry today you will sound slow on while you navigate from one option one setting thing to another setting thing in moodle but through practice the same way you have learned to walk the same way you have learned to drive a bicycle ride a bicycle that way or the same way you have learned to drive a car the same way you have learned cooking the same way you have learned to to communicate you will also learn this thing the speed will come with time so don't 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 try to run fast now see 2020 2020 this is what we have done under edit profile uh, just because you people might be curious about these things also you can search for logs you can see what has been done by mr so and so who is the user who is logged in i have clicked on today's logs and see these are the pages i have visited this is what we get in moodle you can see the logs of the user see this is the time and this is after 12 i have visited done this much and here i had 21 hits on different places see these were the things i was doing i was doing the profile the dashboard i was doing course section updated and then all these things have been done by me on 11th of may i can see my all lo logs also such things happen under the edit profile you can explore it further it, it is not a part of our agenda for now i'm clicking on dashboard just revising the things we have done till now now i click on customize this page dashboard customize this page and then i can customize the dashboard 
Suppose I want private files means the same way you people upload certain things on Google Drive. You can upload things in advance in the private files also. We are not doing it for now. We'll be doing it when you people are ready with the files, or we'll go with the live updation as well. So these are the things, and I can delete private files block because I don't want it on the front page itself. When you log in, you can customize it. That I want to see this, I want. I don't want to see this. Still, you see, cust uh, stop customizing this page. You have to unlock and lock again. So once I click here, my editing capability will be locked again. At present, I can edit. You can see this thing. This this thing has come here, and then uh, I can click here. I can do all these things. Learning plans. I say no. I don't have any plan to add on such things. on the dashboard i can access them anytime i want to so let me see what is left here now i have got latest announcements because they have displayed advertisement here they probably they found that i'm using uh, this particular site uh, so many days or with so many users or somewhere so that is why probably they start displaying latest announcements i'll say announcements should go on the top <clears throat> why they are being like pushed back So what I do is I drag it, I I drop it here, and now my latest announcement is here. I'm now announcements are here. We haven't added any announcements, so don't worry. When announcements are added, they will be there. Online users, it, this can also be seen by you on the dashboard because you are the teacher. Please remember. Tomorrow by tomorrow, like a day end, we'll be learning how to add users and participants. so they will have different permissions you are the owner the the at present you are the boss of this site so you all the rights are there with you students won't be able to edit it if there is only one online user for the last 15 minutes then the same way you can have the list of all the users at that time when you will log in as a teacher and uh, suppose i want my courses wait i'll I, i'll let you know how i edit the courses i'll delete this course block and if someone knows how to add different blogs please let me know can you see where is add block thing on the left hand of the screen or the right side of the screen where is add block like right or left can you see add block left okay and where is stop customizing this page right okay my question is to a yes and no if i click on stop customizing this page if i click on stop customizing this page will i be able to edit the dashboard page if i click here now i have clicked here and stop customizing this page will turn into customize this page can i make correction addition or corrections now no nice i am clicking here customize this page means i open it for repair and these are the things you can see i can click on the left hand side add block and these are the things i can add upcoming events i can add tags i can add private files i can add mentees i can add logged in user how many users are logged in at that moment i can see now live i can see that if i have asked people to go to moodle to read something i can see how many people are logged in there are other ways to monitor also and please remember monitoring doesn't mean we are treating our students as 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 convicts monitoring just mean that we are trying to supervise their presence so i'm just stopping the customizing thing on and i i'm treating it provisionally completed what we have completed till now editing the profile thing we have completed and we have done the dashboard customization i'm going to site home please see where is the site home now on the left hand side if it is there can you tell me it is where can you you can tell me it is below this or it is above this okay it is on the left but where is the site home it is above something below something okay it is below dashboard right just be very friendly like you know in at your home uh, you say learners at your home you you can close your eyes and move from one room to another room how is it possible because you are habitual of that place so if you spend time then you will enjoy navigating from one place to another place that is about like if you change your mobile phone it is quite tough okay i'm clicking on site home now when i have clicked on site home uh, can you see a gear button gear i'm calling it gear because this is the setting button okay can you tell me where is it now
okay this is the name of the site and this is what you have said right side thank you now i'm going to open it now tell me what is the first option and what is the first option turn editing on turn editing on good what is the second option Thank you. I'm going to first option now. Turn editing on. When I have clicked on turn editing on, you can see there is an image already because I added the image. Now, uh, can, can someone tell me to do the edit summary thing? Where should I go? Right, left, where is it? Can you guide me through the words? I need to change this image. How can I? After edit settings, what should I do? I, I need to go to edit summary. Is it written somewhere or there is a symbol of it? There is an icon of it or it is written somewhere? Small gear. Nice, nice, nice. Dr. Ramya Balaj. Okay. So the award goes to everyone. I'm clicking here. Once I have clicked here, you can see on the top edit site. On the very top, the tab. You can you can see here like uh, this thing if you can see here on the top the the tab is has changed into edit sites like this is what we do to metadata and something my computer science friends might be knowing uh, now this is the image which is already there your site might be having the Moodle details I'm deleting it now now I thought why to put now this is the summary of your site you can see this this is this is what it is written summary of your site so summary of your site is let me do one thing very interesting i'm going to put an image for sure let me put an audio also and this is the site thing which will go to the people who will log in before login it will come i'm going to record an audio moodle gives you you, you understand that this is a mic this is a video also so i'm clicking here record audio Welcome to virtualteaching.genomio.com. This Moodle site welcomes you to the domain of learning and teaching virtually. Please remember, virtual teaching is not an alternative, but it is a supportive hand to teaching. Done. Attach recording. Now it is here, but I want to add an image also. Let me go browse the repositories. Upload a file. Now trying to upload a file, 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 file. Going to our folder and deciding the poster again. Now the poster, author is virtual teaching 2020, not a problem. I'm taking Creative Commons. Upload. Oh, file with the name already being attached to the text you are editing. Rename the poster is over it because the file was already there. I, I, I forgot to like uh, delete that one, which was already added by us. We'll go with description, not necessary. I'm clicking on. Otherwise, I can give a description like what is this? What image is this? Now, let me change the size also. Why to make it like uh, let's say auto size? But this eight, nine, seven can be changed into five. And because I clicked on auto size, so the pixels uh, they can be changed. The bottom, okay, fine. I'll keep it to the bottom and then save image. Now, this is the audio because above the audio I have inserted it. I'm saving it. And the address is this. Open the audio has been inserted. This is the site. Welcome to virtualteaching.genomio.com. This Moodle site welcomes you to the domain of learning and teaching virtually. Please remember, virtual teaching is not an alternative, but it is a supportive hand to teaching. Uh, if there is someone whose audio is on, uh, like you people can uh, mute it. Because if you are listening to me, then the voice is coming back. 
so this is what the demonstration is you can add this thing also in this kaveri college for women vt workshop we haven't edited it yet this is the front page settings we'll do it whenever like we like see this login thing when i click on login now anyone who has a username and a password can only log in i have not enabled login as a guest for everyone so you cannot log in you can just go to this one and then beyond that there is nothing for you so advertisements are already there so this is what we have done we have gone to site home and then we went to turn editing on now this is turn editing off i'll be turning editing off now so this change we have done this is what we have done so if you people uh dr natraj we like which particular thing is required to be repeated uh, now three things have been done let me go to the agenda we are going to go to this thing now that i am posting to all of you now this is what we are going to do for the next 45 minutes 30 minutes now and here it is this is what we have now nothing is there i'm going to the simple home page the moment you can click on the top the three three lines are there you click on three lines it gets uh, it gets hidden the means the things the home page now you click on three lines it appears i click here and i'm going to land on my dashboard the url turns into virtualteaching.genomia.com/my/ means my dashboard this is the dashboard if you remember we had customized there is a thing called online users course overview is there but there are no courses you can see there are no courses logged in user is this person because we had decided that i want to see logged in users so if there are multiple users the details will be here badges we are not doing anything and here you see i cannot drag it why i cannot drag it because i am not clicking here it is still not customizable it is customized this page means i need to open it now forget about it now i want everyone to write this word and make it sort of a you know we need a religious type of dedication to this word now this is going to to hover over us for some time till we 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 make friend with it can you please type this thing this word this word or you can type all these four words it will be remembered by you and 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 please don't mind i'm making you people work like the school kids because that is the way like we learn the best learnings of our our life now uh, let me go to the chat oh site administration quite right everyone this is called site administration you can speak it five times in your mind why i'm telling you this thing these are the words you need to remember dashboard site home site administration here it was edit profile here it was site home it is dashboard we are working on a site which is hosted on genomio why i am saying hosted on genomio because now this this can be explained in a in a, in a better way by people who are around you and who know computer science who know about servers moodle is something which can be installed on the college servers also means the whole structure that you people are learning now you can buy hosting for 300 rupees a month for 1500 rupees a year or like the amount you want to spend you can buy hosting and then plant it there the software means the content management system the learning management structure of moodle is free for you they can install it on the servers and then you can do the same things you are doing today so there is no problem learning it on moodle cloud or genomio once it is installed on your personal servers or institutional servers the things remain the same we are just learning it here now i'm clicking on site administration please remember there is no going back now if you people really want to stay away from learning moodle this is the last chance you have like pun intended though like once we enter site administration you are in the world of moodle because here comes the course designing and all other things now these are the buttons site administration we have we have reached search search means these are the things under the site this is called users this is called courses this is called grades plugins appearance server reports and development so these three things i won't touch development segment 
the debugging thing and then all these things are understood better by by people who know programming this is a php based thing so people who know php they can customize it easily reports i'm not working on it i'm not uh, asking you to like uh, search for these things server we are not working at present these are the things users courses grades plugins and appearance so dear friends appearance relates to the themes it relates to what kind of look it will have now if i if i can show you all this and then then you people can see that when themes are being listed here and i click on theme settings or somewhere there are few themes being given by genomio because it's it's genomio which has given us modal uh, you say working possibilities so they have allowed a few themes you can change the themes some colors will bring will be brought here but if you really want to like uh, make it as 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 a professional website like any other website then you need to install it on the personal servers where you can customize it the way you want so there are many many free themes also there you can buy themes from other people also templates can be bought now appearance the logos the calendars and all these things can be changed you can change the logo like here here where you see ccw fdp it is possible for you to bring the logo like you click here and then you bring a logo the logo comes here it comes to the the main front also let's do this thing though it was not a part of the agenda but uh, teaching is something which makes you tempt like let me let me put a logo uh logo 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 let me like can i just a second i'll go to desktop model 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 this i have saved a few logos yeah and let me find out what do we have not here yes now i'm uploading a logo uploaded compact logo okay i'm uploading a small logo as well which will appear at the corners uploaded and save changes this is going to come in the recording so you can do it later also i where i was i was in site administration under the site administration things are there so here it is congratulations everyone we have been able to change the logo i where i am i am this is the path dashboard like dashboard was there it the whole thing was dashboard site administration appearance logos let's check it again we are in site administration appearance logos this was there now plugins are applications certain certain tools which are being used by all of us and these tools are there to help us like some quiz some file and those things are there so you 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 just keep this thing in mind that we can now we cannot uh, customize the plugins that way so what we are doing is we are leaving it for these two days you can understand plugins in a better way very soon appearance we are not changing we just learned to change the logos server and reports and development we are not getting into so what we have to do we have got users courses and grades grades will be the things we'll do later first we'll design the course this is course this is users users means you enroll someone in the university participants means you enroll them in a course so you add users and you enroll participants this is what you do you add users and you enroll the participants now what i'm doing is site administration site administration now tell me what i have opened type it in the chat i went to site administration i have clicked on something and that button belongs to a particular word let me know what that word is let me see the chat box courses okay right you have seen it everybody can type
the description about the course should be typed yeah we'll be typing the description about the course the description about the site can also be typed by you why to leave things blank hmm right everybody is telling me the correct thing we are on the courses okay so in the courses what do you see as the first thing and the second right okay add category and no restore course we didn't ask now this is what i want you people don't walk slow but please do walk with me we have got only two things that i'm talking about is i'm not talking about restore course because i haven't yet shared with you how to take the backup of a course we'll talk about the backup also that's easy but you can take a backup only like you can save money only when you have got money so you can take a backup only when you people have created a course or you can restore it when you go you have got a backup to be restored so we are talking about manage courses and categories now my question to you is with a yes and no can we manage the courses and the categories right now can you manage on this site can you manage the courses and categories yes or no no you cannot because you have not created a course thank you dr jeshree s english okay the question is can you manage something which has not been created no so let's create a course but now can you create a course without deciding whether it belongs to a particular category can we can we create a, a course which doesn't have a category no okay the reason being if you are creating a course like you are creating a course called uh, how to speak better or you are creating a course how to experiment with the metals so if i say how to experiment with metals uh, to which subject it belongs can you just let me know how to experiment with metals physics chemistry chemistry physics chemistry okay done now it means there is a category now okay now suppose in the chemistry thing also i want to make a category which is about the practical aspects of chemistry and i'm talking about the conceptual framework of chemistry or physics in organic chemistry now now you are now and there's nothing wrong and right in this what i want to do is uh, want to share with you is there is a parent uh, like uh, we, we need there is a parent category we need we have got a department of english we have got a department of chemistry under that we have got different courses so let's decide a category first and because my subject relates to communication skills in english so you please allow me to make a course which relates to english that way now parent category yes it is the parent category i want it in under the top because there is no other category i want it to like to to be junior category name category name is i'll say communication skills category id suppose i want to make it uh, one because this is the first category i am creating any other category is invalid description is this category shall have courses related to com skills then or i can give more description i can put a poster i can recording record something i can put in put a put a video or i can insert a video we are yet not doing this now please see very closely this particular box which is there like you can see, you can click on this uh, this arrow and see more buttons and my my mathematics and physics and chemistry and all formula equation based friends can see they can add equations also from here i you can you can see it yourself like this thing is there now see this description page is same everywhere so if you can see a recording button here you can see a video here you can see insert video audio you can see image you can see break the unlink or break the hyperlink insert the hyperlink this interface is common to everywhere in moodle wherever you are going to make something some content all these things will appear so if today like at this moment i am telling you that this is about managing the files which are already saved and bringing a file here this is about recording video audio inserting 
audio video and then image then unlink then hyperlink then numbers then bullets then italics then bold and then this thing also there the size of the text like you are writing a heading or something underline and then sub, this is strike through then uh, subscript and superscript and then you say alignment and this and that calculator and then insert table and then draw insert a character and all these things are there this complete interface comes again and again and it remains the same so if now you have seen all these things they will they will be remembered by you now this category shall have courses related to communication skills let me insert an image or let not let's not insert an image create a category i have created a category oh id number already used yes i had moodle training named category so i'm going to make it two because uh, this site was previously used the people who are there and i guess eight members were there from your college at the workshop which has brought me to you through those eight members now here it is two categories are there moodle training and communication skills now this i now what i did i was in site admin courses create categories i was creating the categories because i have created a category that is why manage course in categories has come now otherwise it was not there you can see what i did i went to site administration i went to courses i went to add a category i added a category of my choice and then i did that see now parent category i'll say under english i want to add a sub category you'll say yes under communication skills let me add another category which is called e m p l o y a b i l i t y employability skills suppose i want to make three courses one is on group discussion one is on interviews and one is on uh, you say uh, resume making course id number i'll say 3 category id number is 3 and sub created this now you will see a drop down you will see the junior senior thing now once i have created a category this is the page which comes you can see this thing now now this is what you see from here this is what we have been able to make now i can add courses to these category to which category you people want me to add a course moodle training communication skills employability skills please type there are three categories 1 2 3 to which category you want me to add a course we'll make a course now yeah i'm sharing the screen you want it to be to the moodle one okay moodle training jasmine ji moodle moodle yes, someone please say communication skills thank you i want to add it to communication skills you remember i told you i will be making a course in com skills thank you i'm going to communication skills a good teacher is a teacher who not always accepts what the students suggest so i am going to communication skills category now under the communication skills if you see please spend some time on the screen i clicked here under the site admin i went to this portion i created a category and then after creating new category i did this i'm going to create a course spend at least 1 minute looking at it if there is someone who wants to ask a question then can 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 share i'm not opting to open the chat 
Hmm. Okay, you have seen it. Now, if I ask you what we people have done, this is site admin and then we have got here. So I'm clicking on create a new course. Now you can see all these components, please add a new course, general, course full name, course short name, please see these components and I'm giving you one minute to think. I know what I'm going to type, but when you people will open it, before that you should decide what name the course will have, what will be the short name or a very, you say two, three letter short name of this so that it appears uh, on the left hand side menu like suppose i'm making moodle training so it will uh, it will be empty for me yeah. category you can change or select here also the visibility the course start the course end date and course id number also sometimes we have got you know that there are paper codes and exam codes and subject codes so this code can be there we can give description of the course what this course is about we can give course summary files there was someone who who had reached this segment please keep clicking these blue question marks they help you only image can be uploaded here and if you ask me why pdf cannot be uploaded i will say oh, because only image can be uploaded now this is the permission from the from the moodle software so we are accepting it you can upload course summary files as images i'll talk about course format and all these things after a minute when you people are done with the sort of a remembrance and typing these some of these to the chat box you can type what you see do you see course full name course short name course category course visibility course start date course end date you can skip course id number and description kindly see these things because if you know then you will be able to be to be i'll say skillful in using it with speed Okay, you have seen it. Right. Now, let me type the course name. Uh, the course name is fine. Yes, public speaking. Short name is uh, maybe PB or PS. Then it is falling under communication skills. I want to show, yes, I'll keep it visible. Course start date, today is 11th. Let me make it 11th only. So, because if I make it 11 only, then I'll be able to demonstrate the things today otherwise what will happen is because the course starts in future and and i won't be able to demonstrate things to you because something that happens in the future i cannot implement it in in, in the back date so 11th of may it will start and let it end in june and let it end on 19 2020 so we are making okay we are going to make it precisely one month course 11 may to 10 june end date enable course id number i'm not adding because if this would have been a red icon then it would have been compulsory now let me give a description through audio this course public speaking has been designed for the students of graduation who are either in their first year or in the second year of their course public speaking is an essential skill and this will help you grow as an individual as well as as a professional join the course and be disciplined and dedicated while you cover all the modules successfully all the best
now you can see this is not the description i can type the description also for example like uh, this force is and then different things i can put an image also course summary files i'm not adding anything now very crucial is course format please see this this is the thing which is called course format will you please see we went to site admin in the site admin thing we went to the courses now because i have created a course so i can go to manage a course i'm adding a new course i have created a category after creating a category i'm creating a course because a course has to fall like if you are introducing a subject the the subject is finally going to go to the faculty of arts or faculty of commerce or management or say science and technology or engineering somewhere so this is what we are doing the description is given i'm not adding any course summary file i'm moving on to course format now so when i'm talking about course format you remember i had given you the instructions guidelines suggestions advice requests that we are going to go with one topic and four sub topics so generally this is what we have a b c d unit a b c d so let's make it course format you want to go to topic format yes we'll go topic otherwise there is a single activity means if there is only one project like you 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 are you are doing a summer internship or you are doing something else so you can go only go with only one activity also one activity like it can only be a seven days or a one day moodle course also but we are going with topic format not weekly not social not single activity and the differences i assign it to you you can find it out and post it in the chat with small descriptions topic format we are more how many topics do you want suppose i make unit a b c d and i want to conduct an assessment also so let me go with five sections the first section will be my topic you say sub topic 1 sub topic 2 sub topic 3 sub topic 4 and the last one will be assessment section so let me make it 5 how many how many sections you can make see you can make 52 and you can increase them so i'm going with only 5 and what will happen now i'm not changing any other thing everyone nothing i'm changing From here in files and uploads what you can do you can say that one file can be a maximum of 10 mb because if student is going to upload a 50 mb video or a or a 15 mb pdf or a 50 mb pdf it will be tough for you because it will kill the space so that is why we have set a limit but maximum upload size is once one upload can be of this now if i have got any doubt i click click on this blue here i am keeping it to site upload see on moodle cloud one of our friends had asked on moodle cloud it remains 1 mb and 1 mb is nothing but moodle cloud gives you gives you a platform to at least uh, get introduced to the latest version but uh, we are going with a comprehensive facility here we can manage without the latest one for now there are a few differences not much the structure remains the same i'm going to click on which one save and return or save and display can anyone type like your choice save and return or save and display where do you want me to go i'll tell you the difference at present i am creating a course everyone you are watching dashboard site admin courses create a course and i'm moving on to create a course and the options i have landed are save and display save and return save and display save and return let me see okay save and display save and display is moving now save and display means i will come out from the creation of the course if i click here it means i will move out from the creation of the course save and return is i will land again to edit my course let's click on save and return and you'll see where i have returned i have returned at the same place again in the workshop so here i am there in the workshop now how to go back now these are three options hide or show delete the course why would we delete it we have made it and again the beautiful gear button clicked on it remember this blue thing again we have landed here now we had decided the course format if you see topic is already there and now we are save and display 
first we did save and return we lend it back again in the workshop the the construction mode now everyone we have landed the course now can you see ps here you can see topics here and i'll i'll show you the path also if you people can see uh, i am putting a circle here and this is what dashboard courses communication skills category and the ps ps you know is public speaking short and now this is what we have done i decided five topics you don't see anything here anything here anything here you don't see anything added and the simple reason of not finding anything here is that we haven't added anything so this is what we have done here now nothing appears that way but you can see this now the course has come on the top the participant word has started appearing now which was earlier not there because you have created a course now badges are there competencies grades general and then topic 1 2 3 4 these things have come and then again this but still dashboard is here site home calendar and private files and uh, if you can see here like uh, site administration is also there so these things are there if you can see them is that fine okay let me look at the chat save and display we did okay now this is what is here now please tell me going by the same learning we have been doing again uh, trying to like uh, believe that we people have got something with us the the blue icon one here it is now read all these options i have taken a screenshot i'm keeping in a word document to save share with you later i'm going to click on where edit settings or turn editing on now you can suggest you can like with your gut feeling what do you see i'm going to click on turn editing on or edit settings if i click on edit settings i'll be editing the course please remember if i click on edit settings i'll be editing the course let me open it in a new tab and bring it to you if i click on edit settings i'll be editing the course i repeat if you click on edit settings i'm going to edit the course but i want to not to edit the course but i want to edit the interior of the course means the contents of the course so here at present there is nothing which is giving me permission to edit how would i add my pdf or the word document that the resource person has been asking for the last 24 hours i click here i say turn editing on and a drastic change appears to the screen here it is everyone now you can see there's a pencil and you can see there's a very nice button drag and drop files also all these things have come you can see this is here so it means i can drag it and drop it suppose topic 5 suppose i name it like i i put it that the course is public speaking this is announcements pencil again i can rename it welcome to learning forum enter i pressed enter so it is there topic 1 why to say what is public speaking i'll go with why we need to speak this is my first topic and i'll add something to it i'll add some activities why e u b l i c s speaking what are the fears and treatments smart tips and methods to prepare and the fifth one if you remember assessment 
of the learner oh then i thought one more topic to be added so here i have got add topics how many topics i'll say one more one more topic to be added so one topic getting added now this is best speeches samples but it looks very odd when assessment is here and then best speeches uh, best speech speeches speech samples so what i'll do i'll take it here i guess here assessment has come here now and now this is what it looks like if you can see everyone but how i can do this is i have to click on turn editing on i have created a course i can click on the dashboard everyone just to show you how like the course will appear because we had already added the block of courses and categories here you can see no courses timeline no courses course overview we haven't launched a course nothing is here so let's customize this page to bring our course category here a category will come on the dashboard itself because now we have got something to show so go to add block and where is it it seems it is already added yes it is there we didn't check it okay we have to scroll here course overview where is it let me reset it and then find it out did i delete it or i have hidden it so course overview timeline sort by courses no courses in progress because we haven't yet saved or launched the course i'm going to cite admin to go to my course that is the shortest way at present and after some time the course will start appearing on the left hand side site admin courses manage your courses in the manage courses thing here is the the the, the moodle training and communication skills in the communication skills thing i've got public speaking if i click here i'll remain here i'm going to click on this edit thing now 11th of may 2020 here it is course format decided save and display okay save and display the course has come here and this is the course i click here turn editing on and what i'm leaving you with is very small thing why we need to speak or this suppose i want you people to add an activity or a resource so you click on add an activity or a resource when you click on add activity on a resource these things will appear i have got a few more things than you but you will be having the thing called suppose with the very first thing that you will want to add is an explanation or i want you people to add an explanation so i want you people to add a page the second last the add a page so you have added a page a page means the text so many things general is it's a page suppose i am i am typing it page added i'm just giving it a a random idea to the name details type here record audio image insert a link then video then we have got what else is there okay insert audio or video all these things can be done in the description in the description i say but why to add things in the description i am going to give a very small description here that this is the unit to know what some skills is this is just a description a few lines a paragraph only and if i click here description on the course page it will be visible to the students without clicking on the unit so i click here to display but in the page content i am going to add things here i am going to add things from 
you say I'm going to choose a file and then I'm going to add suppose I'm adding uh, this what I'm doing is I'm adding something so I'm adding something okay description necessary I'll say not necessary so I can So I have added a few more things just random you say I can insert a link I can click on insert suppose I want people to see something video I click here I'll say I have copied this then I have clicked it here open in new window and create a link so that way this particular this word has become a hyperlink I'm not changing any other thing here and I'll say save and display save and display means i can see how it is going to look to the students i'm going to stop here giving you some time this is page will be seen by student in the middle of the development work designing of your course you can anytime go to the right hand side if you see this i'm clicking again and again switch your role to student how it will look to the student you can check you can simply go here and then switch your role to i'll say let me see how the students will see it so we'll only check with the students and what you are, you are the owner of the website. This is how it looks to the students. This is how it will look to the students. This is how like it is there. So see, the student cannot change anything. If you can see, nothing comes here, no editing, nothing. So I'm going to back, return to my normal role. And now I have this gear with me. What I'm doing is, I am at present editing the course and adding the contents and what I'm leaving you with is edit a page, add a page and I see in one unit when the editing is on, when the turn editing thing is on, now it is asking to turn editing off. It means it is already on and you can see these things. To change the name, click on the pencil, type and press enter. Add an activity or a resource. You have added what? You have added a file. Now I had asked you people to, uh, to you have added a page. Now we are adding a file that people can download. When I clicked on file and then I click on add, it say download file. I do a description, suppose I give this description of the file and I, I click uh, here so that it goes to the students. I'll say, where is the file now? I'm uploading the file, a very small file I'll upload. And uh, suppose I'm uploading a resume format or I'll upload this, I'll upload this. And return to the course. Now these two things have been uploaded. One is page edit and this and I see description because I had selected it is being displayed here. These two things are there, add activity and resource, go to the bottom and click on URL. After lunch, these four things should be there, like you must have done these things. I'm adding a URL. A URL is, I'm saying simple speech URL. Now, where is the URL? URL can be like if I will say this is the URL, the people will land here. I'm putting a URL of YouTube and the description is like Miniskills channel. And we are description on, no, I don't want them to see the description. Okay, I want them done. Display. So these are the four things. We are stopping here to meet post lunch. Meanwhile, you people will work on something. Let me change my, my role to a student and show you how it is looking to the student now. Navigation is easy. At the bottom, you see that you can go to any segment of the course. There is a, there is a navigation button. When you open a particular unit, uh, wait, okay, let me go to the course. I need to show you 
uh, you people can disperse for lunch also in, a, in just one minute like this is the role of a student and you can see all these things are there these three things are visible to the student page edit download the file and sample speech there is only one more thing that we would have now see this download file has also come because it has been pasted in the description so uh, so to the content actually so i have clicked here like i'm going to the main unit unit one why we need to speak these are the things page added download the file and sample speech so if i click on sample speech url you see where i'm going to go i go to the url that i gave so this is how we give things to the students but for that thing you need to prepare your your, your content Download the file and page edit. I click on page edit. I'll see that page that I added. Page means the text is inserted here itself and it works. It comes as a blog. So this is what we have done till now. I'm switching to my normal role, opening the presentation just for once to check it out. What did we miss? Uh, we have added the topics. We have done this. We are going to do understanding announcements and all these things post lunch why because we have done this thing before like i broke the sequence i have added the pages the urls and the file the page url and file thing has been done by us we'll revise it like what we are doing we are adding activity and resources i have skipped to return back the announcements news forums and chats and the and the label also so these things will work post lunch